all right so today we just have a quick little video to show you guys how to test your hardware using your ecu this is something i'll probably find useful in the future for myself and hopefully you find it useful too so recently there's been an update so i went and updated my software so i'm just opening my last project doesn't really matter because it's just for demonstration my ecu is not plugged in at the moment so in any case usually you could test your hardware up here on the right but that tab has been removed the reason they disable this is because you can easily destroy your coils and flood your engine and uh, or probably bend a rod if you use this wrong so you can completely destroy your engine and your hardware so right now you have to go to vehicle projects you have to go to project properties or you could press ctrl p you go to settings and you enable hardware test so that by default is set to deactivate it so you just activate it and say ok and you see it restarts and there it is hardware testing second from the right just click on test output hardware and you can only enable this you can only actually test it when your ECU is plugged in so I can't actually click on that right now and uh, yeah this is the injector driver output test spark driver output test my car is a 4 cylinder my ECU is set up for a 4 cylinder so I only have 4 um, channels for spark and, and injectors my spark i'm using a uh, moisted spark so i only use two spark channels and i'm using paired batch ignition so i'm only using two injector channels you can use this 50 percent dc which clicks it on and off like once clicks it on for one second and off for one second you can actually read the description over there and for the spark same thing 50 percent duty cycle at one interval seconds for spark you can easily burn out your coils just by doing this so I don't use this for spark for spark I just crank the engine and see if it sparks on the spark plug for the injectors it's quite easy I just put a test lamp over the injector plug while all the injectors are not plugged in and then uh, yeah you can just easily see if the test light goes on and off you could also do this if your um, fuel pump is not connected to your fuel rail you could just uh, switch this on and off and you can actually hear the clicks on the injectors but not doing this correctly can destroy your engine completely you can flood it you can bend a rod you can burn coils so use this wisely and after you're done just go back over here or press ctrl p and disable this so that you don't have anybody accidentally destroy your engine using the software. I hope you guys find this useful and peace.